Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to look into very common error we get with the lookup transformation in SSIS package. So we have a scenario in which we load data from source file to SQL server table on daily basis. Before we load the records to the SQL server table, we look up our records with reference table by using a lookup transformation in SSIS package. Our SSIS package often fails with the error row yield no match during lookup. How we can fix this error? Now, in this video, we are going to uh, learn the following items. We will learn how to create SSIS package from basics or scratch. We will learn how to read the data from a flat file in SSIS package. Then we are going to learn how to use the lookup transformation with default settings. And then finally, we will be learning how to produce this no yielded, uh, uh, sorry, the row yielded no match during lookup error. And then at the end, we have a uh, some possible solutions uh, for this uh, error. So now let me show you a file uh, I'm going to use uh, for the uh, package. Here we have the file called sales underscore 2015 It has the customer name, customer region and sale amount. So we'll be using customer name and region to look up uh, again. Uh, to, we will uh, actually, this is our source file. We will be using uh, these records and we will use uh, uh, lookup transformation and match uh, these records with the reference data or the data we have extracted in the lookup and uh, load only the matching records or whatever with the default first and uh, create that error. Now on the other side what we have we have a table called destination table customer destination we need to have customer ID that we are going to extract from the reference data and we have sale amount that will be coming from our source file here we have a lookup table that has customer ID customer name street address city state and region so let's create these both tables and then we are going to insert some records in this lookup table and let's take a look what we have here now these are the five records uh, we have in this uh, lookup uh, table and we will use this one in the as a reference uh, data set uh, in our lookup transformation let's go to ssdt or bids or whatever you have uh, according to the version of ssis uh, you are using uh, right click on ssis packages uh, and create new ssis package rename this one with say row yielded no match something like that whatever you want to say call it give some proper name and here we will be using data flow task as we are going to read the records from the flat file so now we need a the source called flat file source open it make a new connection to the file so we have file sales sale underscore 2015-0515 and here we need have columns and go to advanced and change the data type of the columns if required so customer name 50 is fine for me customer region is a string but I want to have only two characters and sale amount is a string and it need to be the integer so I am changing to DT underscore I4 that's integer all look good go preview looks good retain null values uh, from the source as null values in the data flow that means if you are getting blank values in the source and you want to convert them to the uh, null values you have to check this box so we, we have done that hit ok next uh, we will be using the lookup transformation here it is very exciting when we learn new things and start using it and we know that oh okay we can use the lookup to get the customer ID from the lookup table and uh, that's wonderful so we don't uh, pay attention here at all and we say okay go let me go to connection make a connection to the database so let's say we make a connection to the database hit new and provide a SQL server instance name or server name and once you provide that you have to provide the database in which you have that reference data or lookup data hit okay and here we have test 
and we can select from this drop down i will never recommend it because there could be possible possibility you will have more columns or maybe even today you have the same number of column you need but tomorrow you will add new column and this query is going to return more than what you need and this will use your resources memory and uh, io and uh, network so all those different resources will be used to extract those records when you don't need them so i recommend writing your own query here so let's go and write our query we need customer id we need customer name that's on which we will be mapping or matching so we will be using customer name and region to ma match against our source and we will be getting this customer id so let's run this one just one time it runs fine great come back here paste the query and go to columns and we say customer name matches with customer name and customer region matches with the customer region and we want to add that column called customer id in the output flow so hit ok we are all good and let's uh, bring the ola db destination and here we are going to load the records to the customer underscore dst so we will have look up match records okay that's what we want to do actually so get uh, look up match output fine we want to uh, match the records and anything that matches we want to load to our destination table so we select a customer dst table here go to mapping and we have customer id map dollar d sales amount here we have sale amount the columns are names are a little different here we have sales amount here we have sale amount so you have to map them manually if the names will be exactly same they will map automatically so we are good now let's run the package and see what happened This is the first day we ran our package. It ran successfully great. We we are very excited. Okay, we got two rows in the file and they are loaded into the our table by getting the customer ID as well. So we can select some data and take a look. Select star from customer DST. Now if I run this one, it got the customer IDs and has the amount. So that's wonderful news. And we keep running this uh, process for a while and it never gave us any error. One day when we were loading this file and uh, what happened? We got this uh, record. Let's say, let's remove M from Raza. So now this name does not exist in the our lookup table. So if you take a look, we don't have Raza at all. We have M Raza. So now in the source file, we are getting a record that does not have matching record in the lookup uh, table or reference data. So now next day we ran the package and it failed. And when we start taking a look in the log files or uh, in the output window, wherever we are debugging or running that package, we find out one thing. It say okay everything looks good but uh, where is the error error is right here and say let me see sometime these uh, error windows are not that great and uh, lookup failed error because the error this position on lookup and error occurred specified let me see failed and then uh, you go further and one thing we want to find out so here we are saying this one if you see the very first line in the error these are the three lines we got with the error the very first line is saying oh row yielded no match during lookup so what does that mean so that's where we figure out okay we build the package correctly it was working fine all of a sudden what this error is telling us row yielded no match during lookup so that's uh, the point where we need to look and uh, see the configuration or the uh, settings we have done for our lookup transformation what we understand from here there is a record that is coming from the source and it is raza and that does not have matching record in the reference data or lookup table so that's why as we have done 
no setting on the lookup we kept everything default and if there is a matching uh, non matching record coming from the source uh, and there is no match uh, in the lookup uh, what happened we get this error so go back to the lookup and now we are trying to find the solution so what we have to do when we build uh, or create our ssis package uh, there are certain things we need to ask our business users maybe this is one of the thing uh, where they will say okay if there is no matching record you fail your ssis uh, package and that could be possibility so we will leave everything as it is but if uh, they will say okay if there is no matching uh, in the lookup uh, table for the source uh, record or value what you need to do we want you to run the package successful but redirect that row input row to the another file so here we will uh, do some settings so first uh, it was uh, fail component now we can go ahead and redirect uh, that row which is not matching so we can go ahead here hit, click ok and now we will bring uh, another we can uh, we can write to the table we can write to the file and uh, we can create the flat file every time with date time if you want but in my case right now i just want to ignore that file uh, record and show you here so i'm using the multicast and just you going to use the data viewer so you can see the record and that's what we will do but instead of using multicast you can write this record to the flat file or to the sql table or anywhere you want to write and here you see that we got two rows they are not matching because we have also changed amir a a m i r and we don't have a m i r so that's why amir is also redirected let's go back and you see that package completed successfully but both rows are redirected and did not uh, so it, we didn't get the error but this one also has to be taken care of really good because if you are redirecting and just ignoring the records uh, maybe you are ignoring uh, these records for years and nobody know that okay they are get, we are getting records uh, but uh, there were records those were ignored in the ssis package so best is to ask your business user you want to write to some flat file or sql and then maybe attach them as a uh, email at the end of the package and send them okay these are the record there is no matching uh, uh, um, records available in the lookup for these uh, incoming uh, records now if we run this one one should be going to the oladb destination that's amir because it has the matching record and one should be going to the no match output because there is uh, no match for raza there is a record that start with m raza so we have m raza we don't have raza that's why it is redirected to the no match output also maybe they would like to say okay fine if we get this uh, type of no matching fine you don't get the customer id we are okay with that just put the null values so you go to look up again instead of using a redirect rows to no match you will say ignore failure by doing it what happened if you run this one it is giving us a warning and uh, if you will hover no rows will be sent to the no match output so let's uh, run this one and now we will see what happened as we are ignoring the errors we are saying okay doesn't matter if the records are matched or not matched you want to send them to the lookup match output but what we will get in the customer id where there is no record available so let's go back here i will recommend putting a, a data viewer here or you can go to the actually the table and take a look but uh, let's put the data viewer and with the ignore failure as one record has the matching record so we will see for customer amir we have a matching record and we got the customer id one and for raza we don't have customer id because this record does not exist in the lookup table so we got null values so that can be also possibilities your uh, business user will say okay doesn't matter you put all those records with the uh, null values and we will find out later and we can go ahead and delete and uh, ask the source to fix them and reload them so there could be multiple scenarios so you will be using uh, ignore failure or you will be using a uh, redirect rows to no match and uh, uh, you, when you will use the fail component that's where you are going to get that uh, row yielded uh, no match uh, um, output so that's the error you will get with the fail component that's a default setting of uh, 
look up so if you use that one just remember this one you didn't change anything you did not handle those scenarios and that's why you are getting that error so uh, happy learning with the lookup and uh, there are more scenarios I'm going to coming up with next videos. Keep watching. Thanks and I will see you next video.